Here we go, gang. Welcome back. Thank you for showing up. This is day two of the Dunedin Causeway Adventures. We get out to the fishing spot. I'll let you know what luck we have. Thanks for tuning in. Target is going to be Pompano, but as we've seen, these jigs seem to catch a nice variety of species. Let's see what we get into. Trolling out, hooked up again. This time on the Pompano jig, just tossing it out and bumping it. Thinking a ladyfish again. I got one jump so far. Oh, yep, just jumped free. But took my jig with it, so now I'm thinking Spanish. <laughs> Already have to retie and haven't even gotten there. <sighs> the Florida famous Thani fishing from the bank where I was at yesterday. He's right in my spot. I got a little late start today. And Sonny is there with his girlfriend. I forget what her name is. Oops, and I'm hooked up on the first cast. Nice start. Nice start. First cast in the spot. Does not feel like. Oh, now it's a Spanish. And he got off the hook. But decent sized Spanish. I just don't want him breaking me off. Nice to get a hit on the first shot. Don't point those teeth towards me. About a 14 inch Spanish. Check my leader since I lost my first jig already on the way out here. Presumably to a Spanish. But it feels okay. Must have avoided his teeth. As I was saying, I pull up and I see Thani in his old town. I think he's got the big water it's called a little bit bigger version of this i'm going to get back up there and hopefully get a pump on i think he just caught one as i was catching my spanish cast number two and my braid snapped right in the middle i can't believe that and i think i left my leader material in the truck so i'm going to be down to my secondary pole. Good start as far as macro bite. Bad start. And don't know what happened with my braid. <laughs> There's a monster manatee right underneath me in this crystal clear water. There he is. Covered in barnacles. Just about noon. So lunars today say that it should be the start of a major feeding time right about now, but it also coincides with basically high tide. So not much current movement. About an hour before our former President Trump surrenders himself due to his horrendous felonies according to the New York Grand Jury. Oh, uh, should be an interesting afternoon whether or not I catch some fish. See what's going on with that. Maybe see what the actual charges are. But they seem to want to keep everything secret, which is kind of strange. See if they release the documents at least that allege his 30 or 34 felonies. What a joke. Especially in New York where they let violent felons off with misdemeanors. But they go back 10 years looking for some campaign violations. It's funny how they didn't do that with Bill or Hillary or current president and his son in fact when they went after when Trump suggested the Ukraine investigate the Bidens 
That was horrendous. You can't target your political enemies, even though Biden hadn't stated he was running yet. That was a horrendous abuse of presidential power. But some little district attorney in New York, state attorney in New York, going after a former president who has formally declared, oh, that's okay, that's just as nobody's above the law. Not like the clean Biden family. Well, should be an interesting afternoon whether or not I catch some fish. I'm thinking about just switching it up and going to a jig head, bouncing it off the bottom. Yesterday I did see some redfish getting chased by the dolphins. And I just keep seeing to lose my jigs to these mackerel today. We'll see. Next bait we're going to try for the trip home. Take a slow trip home. Put on a little bucktail. A little soft plastic on the end of it. See if we can jig something up. 